hello one, hello all. I haven't posted in ages, just because I haven't, didn't think I would again to be honest, but then the new season of Bridgerton came out. This is season three, Penelope and Colin's season. Now, if anyone knows me, you probably wouldn't know this from my previous channel and stuff, like the stuff that I've done. I love reading. I love listening to audiobooks um, and I watched Bridgerton, big fan. And from season one, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to read Penelope and Colin's book. I didn't read any other ones. I was just like, I need to read their book. So today you have the pleasure of listening to my scathing review of season three, part one. So let us gather, let us get our tea and let's begin. Also, major warning, there's going to be spoilers for book and for the show, just so you guys know. So, to start off, when I read the book, I actually really liked the book, uh, which is kind of in contrast to a lot of people, because a lot of people don't actually like the books. I've only read this book and Eloise's book, and I liked them both. I liked Penelope and Collins way more than Eloise's one, but actually I've also read Benedict's one. Didn't like Benedict's one at all. Um, but the first one I've read was Penelope and Collins and absolutely adored it. Um, what I did find though when reading the other stories, I was like, the show is better than the books. That's just what I, I don't know, that was my feeling towards it, the way it was handled, the way it was done, the music, the dresses, everything. I loved that. Um, but I really liked the, the book. <laughs> First, I'm gonna go into the things I liked about it, then I'm gonna go into the things I didn't like, and throughout I'm kinda gonna talk about the differences between the book and the series. So starting off, I think the gown's amazing. Penelope's glow up, incredible, uh, well deserved. I thought it was just really nice. Um also Colin's glow up, really well done. I think um what else would I say? <laughs> This is really bad because actually it's a negative review but I, I think it's because it was so highly anticipated that when I have watched it I was like oh my gosh this is not what I was hoping for. I think another thing that was great was the music it always is throughout all the seasons they do such a great job. The dancing really good, costume good um, and I did feel like the scenes where Penelope and Colin were together their chemistry was off the charts really good. Um, so yeah, it's, I could expand on this more but I feel like I should get the negative out of the way because I, I did have a negative reaction generally to it. When I say negative, I mean I still was squealing like a little girl whenever anything happened. I was excited, I watched it all in one sitting. On to the negatives. So for me, uh, something that I feel like didn't work was the love triangle. I feel like they've done this three times now and it's like changed the script. Like it's it didn't happen in the book. It didn't need to happen in the book. Uh, it was very driven. Um, so that I was like why? Like they've done it with Daphne in the first one with the prince. I know it wasn't a serious, well it, it kind of was. Then they've done it in a uh, two with Anthony, Kate and Kate's sister. I've forgotten Kate's sister, oh my gosh. Uh, Edwina, that's it. Yeah, they've done it again and then they've done it again here. I was just like, there's no need for this. Something else was, I felt it was very rushed. I felt like it, a lot of it was very rushed. Um, and that they had lots of fluff in it. So they had the Montridge, Montridge? I think it is. The Montridge family. And they're not in the books at all. And I thought they were really good in the first two seasons as plot points, but in this they didn't really hold a plot point that impacted the main characters. So I felt like they gave a lot of time for them when they could have given more time to the main couple, which they'd done in the first season. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of Daphne, but the first season I thought was incredible. I thought the, the chemistry was just incredible and everything affected the story in some way or other. And every every side, you know what I mean? It affected the main couple generally or the main people's family 
in this I just didn't feel that as much I feel like they kept filling it with fluff and I was like stop like you're not giving Penelope and Colin enough time in saying that as I said before their chemistry when they were together was incredible but I felt Colin's character was lacking a little bit I felt that he was very lost and obviously in, in the books he just came back his travels and he is lost because he doesn't know what to do he's kind of running away when he goes away he wants to come back and when he comes back he wants to go away because he just doesn't know what he's wanting to do with his life um and that's kind of made clear in the book that he just feels like a loose end but I don't feel like they've really they've really expanded on that very much which I feel like they should have. Another thing was that the diary like her so there were certain scenes that were in the book that were in the show I think there was three scenes so the three scenes that were in the book and show were the him cutting his hand her her reading his diary and then him cutting his hand her asking him to kiss her and uh, the carriage scene so they, those three they are quite big moments but each one to me in the show felt so much more rushed than in the book and obviously it's going to have different speeds and timings but I just think like it was I don't think it was handled as well as it was in the book which is weird considering for everything else generally the show has been better than the books which is a weird one. I think that obviously I've went into spoiler territory already but I feel like the, as I said Colin's character was just a bit all over the place um, in the books, it, there's a spoiler, as I said, is basically he comes back from his travels and he's sort of, as I said, kind of lost looking for his place. He sees Penelope again and they kind of rekindle their friendship. And from there, like the, the cut in her hand scene, she's she doesn't fall out with Eloise in the books. Um, and basically, so she was over for tea, Eloise wasn't home and she goes up and she reads his journal by accident and they have a big falling out and then they end up resolving it quite quickly because he cuts his hand, just like in the show. But from there, that, I felt like it could have elevated the tension in the, the, the show, like, whereas I don't feel like it was elevated enough, like, there wasn't enough moments, there wasn't enough, I don't know. No, I just think that like they were giving me breadcrumbs. They were giving me the bare minimum and I wanted more. I wanted so much more. Um, I just think, I think Luke and Nicole are both amazing actors and actresses. They're both amazing at what they do. And I just felt like it was, I don't know, the side stories were just too much as well. Like there's too many and they weren't really in fact like it was just getting too much so like for instance Eloise and Penelope's friendship like I feel like that should have been resolved quite quickly um the crest of the friendship with Eloise that's not a thing in the book and yeah it humanizes her but I don't know why they've done it because they've made her a villain in the past two seasons so why now change like it's just it's a it's a bizarre choice for me like personally um another thing is that um I said the Montrages, their family, don't exist in the book, were good for the first two seasons. I do not see the point now. Another thing is Francesca. I was really looking forward to Francesca. I've not read her story, but I was looking forward to like another Bridgerton kind of coming into the spotlight. Oh my gosh, I could not give two... I did not care for it. I did not care for it she's absolutely stunning the actress and she's a good actress she is but I thought her character was so dull I thought she was anytime she was on the screen I was like this could be pollen time this could be pollen time and it sounds weird when you say it out loud but yeah I was like this isn't it this isn't it like I was just I was I know they were trying to make her different like from all the other Bridgertons but instead she just came off as very dull like very drab like she was desperate to find a husband the way they kind of made out like she just wanted a husband but then any time a guy would approach her she'd be like she'd just be so dull and like and then be like 
oh they just want me for this or that or oh they're assessing me like I'm a species and it's like you said you don't care as long as you have the quiet like make your mind up overall I just think like my opinion of it was the book was this slow sort of they'd been friends for years he'd went away tra traveling he came back didn't know what to do with his life and he sees Penelope the spoiler in the book is he starts to fall in love with her after she sees his journal he starts to fall in love with her because she asks him to kiss her afterwards and then after that they kind of still see each other and become friend even friendlier and uh, from there he's interested he's got a peaked interest but he follows her to where she goes and puts her whistle down stuff and he finds out she's whistled down that is the big moment of tension in the book that is the the problem in the book is that he hates the fact that she's whistled down and he hates whistle down uh, it's their biggest problem and he's trying to hide it from everyone obviously it's hidden already but he's like if i found out then who else is gonna find out um so that's kind of the point of tension in it but it's also the fact that he's jealous of her because he has these journals and she's read them and said they're really good but he's jealous of the fact that she's got a legacy left behind eh, and he's not got anything like he's not known for anything other than charming so i liked that story point i thought it was different it was quite unique it was nice they've not done that in this they've just st stuck to this same same sort of stagnant storyline which is a love triangle and then he realizes based on seeing her with somebody else like no why why like why do you need to do that i'm sorry guys this is a long video but i watched this all last night and i went to bed and you know i was like i liked it but i also didn't like it at all like i was like how how does that make sense but it does it does because it's like it's bridgerton and i love bridgerton but I think because I loved the book so much and because I loved, I thought even though it was a one-sided love, they had great chemistry all throughout the show, that it just didn't meet the standard. Another thing, right, this might be petty, another thing. See, Make and Colin have just these three subs, like left, right and centre. They had tried to have him, he had one once and then another one another time and I was just like, it's like why because in the book colin's not a rake he's not he's it says when he's abroad obviously he slept about when he's abroad but like it's kind of clear that benedict is and anthony kind of dabbled as well i'm pretty sure i don't know in the books but in the series yeah but i don't know why they've done it because it's meant to be that colin comes back and he just doesn't know his place but it's like he's kind of over that um and he doesn't know what he's looking for but it doesn't talk about him sleeping around and it's like why are you adding that like it's just like i think why it frustrated me is because it gives it tight casts all three of these guys and it, it makes like how realistic is it for a guy who goes and sleeps about to just suddenly change like that overnight like i'm sorry it doesn't it takes like he's literally started his interest in Penelope and he goes to prostitutes like it, it's just the fact that it's that maybe that sounds like I'm being hyper judgmental but it's done it several times throughout the seasons and it's like give me something new based on his character because his character was quite green in the old ones and it's meant to be that he's charming now and he's changed but like having these like threesomes when he's interested in her it just I know the second one he kind of just sits and watches but it's like you didn't need to add it like you could hint at the fact of it and I know obviously they want to add this kind of they want to add smart and stuff like that because I mean that's we love steam in it but I was like I just found it unlikable I was like like maybe at the, at the very beginning yeah I was yeah but I was like why why are all these guys typecasted the same way like I know maybe maybe that sounds hyper judgmental of me like I said but I do think it's very unrealistic all three guys liked sleeping around before and it took one woman just to like completely turn them around and it can happen in real life, yes, but three times in this like same sort of 
no, like no, like I don't know, I didn't see it as glamorous, I just saw it as oh, frustrating. Don't know if I said this at the start, but I'll say it now. Something else that I think could leave, like, that kind of it hasn't worked in their favour is splitting it into two parts. Like, of course, we're all going to watch the second part, but as of right now, it feels so rushed. Like, from the start to the carriage scene, like, it just felt like Colin was like, I don't know, it felt all over the place. I felt rushed. I felt, I don't know, I felt there was a slow sort of build up with all these couples where they end up like, it is a very slow build up, but with this it feels like, oh well they've got this past so it'll just jump into it. And it's like, no, because it's been a one-sided one love for years, you need to let it build a little bit with his side. And it feels like it wasn't, it felt like it was that kiss, that kiss he had a wet dream and then it was like, boom, I need to tell her. And it's like, no, what? what you, they need more moments. They need more moments. As I said, breadcrumbs, people. Breadcrumbs. I was getting breadcrumbs. And no, that's not to say when I got those breadcrumbs, I was squealing. I was excited. I was, you know, like, but there wasn't enough. I wanted the whole loaf, but they weren't given. They weren't given. One more thing before I go. It's back to the Fran Francesca thing. I wish they would stop doing this to the Queen. Like, just let the Queen like let her win once like the fact like Lady Whistledown like daunted her and then she picked somebody for Francesca and Francesca's already like no because she wants somebody who's quiet it's just like I'm <sighs> like it's just frustrating like it's like I'll marry anyone then the queen picks someone for her and she's like oh I actually like this guy and it's like dude dude you said you wanted just anyone you didn't care about love. Violet's been telling you just to try and find a love match. And he, she's like, no, I just want a husband. And then you get picked a husband and then you're like, actually, I want a love match. It's like, make up your mind. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Just to reevaluate, it wasn't the worst. But it wasn't my favourite season, despite being my favourite couple. I'll, I'll watch the next part and I'm looking forward to it but I'm also like a bit disappointed to be honest. I, I might sound really scathed in my review but it is, it's, it is what it is and I know there's people that absolutely love it and please tell me your opinion in the comments because these people done a great job. The show is amazingly produced, it's just great. But the storyline for this season just feels a bit off to me. It doesn't feel as strong as I was hoping. And that's just my personal view on it. But tell me if you loved it. Tell me if you hated it. Um, yeah, just tell me in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. And thank you for sharing a cup of tea with me. Uh, and I will see you maybe next time. Maybe not. I might do a part two for the second part of the season but yeah I will see you soon